great. Guys, here I've prepared a line to maybe uh, describe the meanings of the words better for you. So here we have things that we don't like. From here we will start and we will end with the things that we like doing, right? So the first word, which means that we don't like doing it very, very much, is what? Hate. Great. That is the word that we use when we hate doing something that we don't like, right? We don't want to do it. Okay. Another one is can't stand, right? We described it previously. So I can't stand is very similar to hate, but maybe a little better. Okay. Uh, the next phrase is, of course, don't like, right? Another one was don't mind. It means I, I like it, but not too much, right? As we have described it previously. And two words that are actually, I think, the same in meaning is like and enjoy. When we like doing something, when we enjoy doing something, okay? And the last word, do you remember? Love, yes, love. I love swimming. I love reading books, right? So I love to do something. Okay, guys, so now you know the words, you know the phrases that we can use to say that we like something or that we don't like something. And now tell me, uh, what are the, mm, the, most com the most common things that you talk about while using these words, these phrases? What are they? For example, swimming, reading books, what are they? How do we call them in English and all over the world? Very good. These are hobbies, okay? So now let's talk about a little bit about hobbies, right? What are hobbies? Tell me. Hmm? Roxana? I don't know if you could hear Roxana because she sits in the back. Could you hear her? No, okay, so I will maybe um, repeat. So Roxana said that hobbies are things that we like doing very much, right? Very good, that's the correct answer. So these are all the things that you like doing in your free time, for example, right? At the beginning of the lesson in the film, they were talking about the things they like doing, right? They were talking about playing football, uh, dancing, right? Later on, when we presented vocabulary, uh, when we presented the words and phrases describing likes and dislikes, we had some sentences, right? And also in those sentences, you were given an examples of hobbies, right? We had playing basketball, for example, right? And the pictures you remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I want to check how many hobbies um, do you remember? So the words, right? I've prepared some pictures to, um, to show you, and then I, I will ask you to name the hobbies, okay? We can do it together. So the first picture is this one. Swimming, very good. Who likes swimming? Great. Do you love or like swimming? Love swimming, great, of course. And yes, of course, it's swimming. Let's see the next one. What is it? Skateboarding, great. Do you do skateboarding? No, you don't do it. Do you like it? Not really, Kuba, you hate it. Really? Have you tried? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next one. What is that? Yes, that's playing rugby, right? Do you play rugby, guys? No, not really, right? In Poland, rugby is not that popular. We prefer some other group sports, yes? Okay, another picture. Oh, what is it? Of course, it's basketball. Great, playing basketball. You play basketball in school, right? On your PE lessons. Do you like playing basketball? Everybody likes playing basketball, yeah? Okay, the next picture is, what is it? Skating. Roller skate, roller blading, actually. Very good. Do you like roller blading? Yes, yes, of course. Next picture. What is it? Playing tennis. Very good. Another one. 
Great, that's motor racing, yes, a bit dangerous sport. You don't do it, right? You don't do it. Don't do it. It's very dangerous. Okay, what about this one? Gymnastics, very good. I think none of you does the gymnastics here, right? Yeah, no. Very difficult sport. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, what is it? Fishing, of course. Do you like fishing, guys? No, why not? Is it boring, really? Yeah, it is boring. Sorry, I don't like fishing, too. Right, next picture. Oh, this is something that you, have, that you love, I think. What is it? Playing computer games, of course. All of you do it, all of you love it, yes? And you spend a lot of time playing computer games, am I right? Yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. Oh, what is it? Of course, it's listening to music. I think it's the most uh, popular uh, activity that you do in your free time, right? Yes, listening to music. You do it actually all the time. You do it even at school. You do it in the bus. You do it at home, yeah? Yeah. Now, this one. Reading books. Now, guys, do you read books? No. Yes. No, or no yes. Okay. No. You should. Okay, next one. What is it? I think. Is it clear what the man is doing? What is he doing? Watching films, of course. He is watching films, yes. You also probably like watching films, yes? Okay. Next one. What is it? Cycling. Cycling, yes, that's cycling, of course. And the last one for you is, yes, the most popular sport in Poland, playing football. Yes? Yes, of course. Great. And I think in Italy also. Okay, guys. So now we've discussed, and Portugal, of course, sorry. Uh, we've discussed um, the ways that we can express our likes and dislikes. Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo. We've discussed uh, vocabulary connected with hobbies. Yes, you know all of them. I'm very proud of you, right? Now, I've prepared a short exercise to check if you understood everything. Yes, that everything is clear for you. So let's take a look at this exercise. Here we have a table, right? A table um, where we have uh, four names. We have Garth, Jenny, Emma, and Steven, yes? And then we have things that they love doing. Two smiles means that they love doing something. Later we have one smile, that means that they like doing something. Uh, one sad face is that they don't like, and two sad faces means that they hate doing something, okay? And I want you to complete the sentences with the information, right, in the table. Uh, the other groups, I hope you have the handouts, yes, with the exercise. So let's do it now uh, together. But before we start, let's look at the example, okay? So we have Garth. Garth is our first person in the table. So Garth loves skateboarding, right? But he hates playing rugby. Is it correct? Yes, of course. Later on, we have a sentence, he likes playing basketball. Is it correct? Yes, but he doesn't like cycling, yes? So one sad face and cycling, so he doesn't like doing it, okay? So I want you to take a look at the table for about one minute or 30 seconds, and later we will check your answers, okay? So take a look at this, look at the table, and try to complete the sentences with the correct words, okay? And now try to correct. If you understand the, the explanation, okay, so if you have to smile, it means that you love. Okay? So if you have only one, like. Okay, 
Ready? It isn't very difficult, so I think we can do it now, yeah? Okay, so, uh, Jenny, so the second sentence, who wants to do it? Paulina, please. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The first one. Yeah. Rollerblading. Yes. I, I don't know if uh, everyone can hear Paulina. Maybe I will tell it again. So Jenny loves swimming and she likes rollerblading. Very good. And the second sentence. She. Mm -hmm. Great. So she hates playing volleyball and she. Uh, sorry, she doesn't like playing. Yeah? Hates playing volleyball and she doesn't like motor racing. Yes, that's correct, of course. Uh, what about Emma? Uh, Victoria, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emma likes playing tennis. Very good. Great. She hates motor racing. Okay. And the second sentence, she. Uh -uh, she, yes, she doesn't like, yes, she loves gymnastics, very good. Okay, and the last sentence for Steven, okay, Zuzia. Yes, Stephen loves playing football and he likes playing basketball. Very good. Cycling. Mm -hmm. Very good. He doesn't like cycling and he hates skateboarding. Great. So I hope all of you did the exercise, right? The first one for today.